What's going on guys? Welcome back to a new video. It is getting closer and closer to our archery deer hunt. It's coming down to crunch time for summer scouting and we're gonna go set and check a couple trail cameras. One of which I know had a really good buck on it earlier this year. So if you guys have been following the scouting series, you remember me and Mar Martin setting up uh, two new cameras in a new spot that I'm not super familiar with, but I've been there a few times. So far, I only had checked it one time, which was literally, literally like six days after I set it, and that was just to replace the batteries because I noticed they were low. So this will be the first time that we really had it out long enough to really marinate and pull some bucks in with the critter lick. We're gonna check the SD card and see if any big bucks are consistent on it. And we'll take it from there. It's the, I barely made it up on a 50% battery. Started out at 50%. Unfortunately, it tanked on me really really quick to 14. I don't know what happened there 50 to 14 14 to 7 Rode 7 for that last little bit and that last push the dang thing died on me met up with M Chag life He's been out all morning This guy is an animal if you guys see him uh, up here with me You can also add in addition to whatever we do together. He is doubling and uh, putting in time and effort on his hunt so Martin Chag's been up here since what daylight or yeah. dark? Yeah, I started it like four. Saw a lot of bucks today. It was like overcast for the first time. Finally, and there huh. was like I counted like 30 bucks. Nothing giant, but good to see deer out moving. We're gonna bomb up to the trail cameras. We have two to check today, two to rebate. Fingers crossed that the big one is back. Making the final push up to the camera. Oh, so steep. You see all those beds down there? Yeah, there was like five beds. I was kind of confused because I've never approached the camera from straight below it, but it's right above us. And there is, there's this trail that's been hammered. It's pretty good, but I know the trail that uh, we set it up on is even worse. So, 40 more yards straight uphill, and we're there. There's still plenty of critter. Like, if you guys missed it the first time, when you have a string full of keys, you don't want to waste a bunch of time trying to figure out which key it is. I saved it in my Onyx map, so I dropped the pin, put the trail camera icon on, and then from there I used the notes to uh, put a note of the key number. So you got the little icon there. I got my notes. View your notes. P285. Right there. That's the one. I bet there's three four-pointers. <laughs> Oh no, my little idea of hanging my lock didn't work so good. Three four pointers. And then the big boy, and then a handful of does. Guys, if you see anybody that is not me, Martin, B Mac or Casey, running around with a trail camera that says Hush, or Eric, or my phone number on it, call me, DM us. It's kind of sad, we've had quite a few trail cameras over across different units get stolen over the years. You've had them stolen too, haven't you? Yeah, I've had two. Oh, I hate that. I was uh, talking to a buddy just the other day on DM and he's had three stolen up here this year. Dang. Already this year, and it's July. All right, we got two points galore. We got a daytime shot of nothing. Pretty mellow. There we go. Whoa, dude. Is that homeboy? Looks like him. Looks like him, huh? Yep. Hey, he's got a little inline or something going on, or is that just his velvet looking funny? No, this is a different, different buck. Different buck. Dang, goofy guy, huh? Goofy guy. No, 
It's him, but he's busted off his back fork. Dang it. No way. Dang it. And I'll put some pictures up right here. If you look closely on his back left fork, it seemed to be kinked. Yeah, it was. Oddly. It was like, crooked. If you look from this angle, uh, from the, when he turns away, you can see how far it's tilted out. And not, other than it being having a little kink, I didn't think much of it. Other than it looked like it had been injured and had regrouped itself and it was continuing to grow clearly and it looked like it was just going to make him a really wide buck and unfortunately this is him now and that back fork has busted off man we knew he was going to have some big fronts dang it i was really excited to see how he would finish out well in my book because i'm not very picky he's probably <laughs> still, still a shooter, shooter. Maybe there's some daytime we could see what's going on. I hope so. I'd like to get a closer look at that. Here's another buck that actually came in early. I got a good look at. I could tell he was going to become a tripod on that front left. That's him on the 24th. Nice buck. Definitely has some potential. Their summer capes are so freaking ugly. <laughs> <laughs> That's it? Dude, that is it. Slave labor. <laughs> Martin's digging out a hole because we decided we're going to leave the uh, mineral rock, which is just past him right there. We have one more bag of critterlick, and I'll just take that to the other camera and, and leave the rock here. And who knows, maybe later in the season this will be a hot spot. Whoa. Some bucks. Two point and a bigger two point. Yeah, they're just kind of like down in that tall grass. What if I just cave this year and just shoot like the first two point that comes in? Might have to. <laughs> sometimes, I meat just, hunt. sometimes I want to. Just to like, alright, first velvet buck is done. Relax. Go enjoy some of my other hunts. Go actually scout some of my other hunts. Put a lot of time into this one, but I'll tell you what. The, the, ch the, more, the more challenging the hunt is, the more rewarding it is when you finally connect. And I cannot wait. Camera number two, show me the high numbers. That one had 245, something like that. 98. <laughs> Man. They're just kind of yeah. passing by. Yeah, they're just kind of passing by. They're not really, they're not really just pounding. Dude, I was like, what is this taking a picture of? Look, it caught that deer coming up. You can see his antlers moving by the green brush. That's a cool one. Let's save that. Oh, there's our busted, our busted G2 buck. Here's a better look at his break. Oh man, look at the damage. Yikes. Dang man, that's too bad. He liked he liked the upper station. <laughs> like he was right in front of the camera the whole time. He hung out for a little while. Yeah, there's a cool shot. That's cool, he's kind of quartering away. Let's see if he's got any, no little bumps or anything, but man, those fronts still have some growing to do. My trail cam game has gone downhill. More and more people are using trail cams. I think that's great, I have nothing against that. And uh, more and more people are actually putting out mineral licks and different attractants and salt blocks and things like that so you got to think when you're up there putting out a mineral lick somebody could possibly have one close to you and maybe there's is a better a better lick or in a better spot and that will pull the deer out so this spot it's always a good spot to keep an eye on right now I have no game plan on like to be here opening morning or anything but good information it's nice to know that the big buck did come back it's a little unfortunate that he's broke, but he's still a nice buck. I'm not going to be too strategic. <laughs> not much going on over here, but another bag of critter like for those guys. We still have a couple snack sticks. That's a bonus. You want the one? I'll have one. You get the small one, sorry. Okay, it's all right. You put the work in. Guys, these are delicious. I take a bag every hike, and I eat the bag every time. We get a check of bonus camera. I have a camera set up, kind of same area. Um, it's a little bit of a hike, but we might catch the same bucks. We might catch 
and it's far enough away we might catch a different buck or elk. I set this camera back early July, maybe even June, I can't remember, so haven't checked it since. So, well, we are getting to the camera right there. Looks like there's been a little bit of action. Yeah, there's been some tracks. Not a ton, but we got something yeah. probably on the camera. Look at all those keys. <laughs> you been you taking my tips and using them or no? Nope. <laughs> so <laughs> just watch. Just watch. It doesn't fit. It's got to be one of these silver oh, ones. Oh, my bad. It is one of the silver ones. Look at all those locks. It's this little guy. Oh, the life of a trail cam man. Never mind. It's, it's not. not that one. Oh, shoot. Do I not have the key? Now, there's this video I got up on the channel, Martin. It's like got some tips and tricks on setting cams. You know, collaboratively, me and Martin would probably be a pretty good trail camera team. He seems to pick a lot better spots and get a lot better animals. Maybe I'm a little better with the gear. Look, he's Usually, striking out. Striking well, this, out. It's because th there's, this uh -huh. is the only lock that one? I okay. have that's like this. Okay. So I, there's only mm -hmm. one key that fits it. Mm. It should be the easiest one then. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see what we got. 68. <laughs> it was kind of a do or die spot, but we'll see. Hey, hey, hey. Three point. Shooter for me. I guard buck mm -hmm. still growing. Looks like they were here early for sure. Some elk coming in. Cow elk coming in hot. Extreme close up. Little rinky four point. Mm -hmm. Crabby. Yeah, he's crabby on the left. That was just a couple days ago. Another four point. Yeah, he'd be nice. But man, that was just the other day. Mm hmm. You're so already he done. Should be growing out more than that. 68 pictures? Yep, and then there's us. There's us so coming sad. in. So depressed. We're getting the summertime blues. So I've seen a few people ask uh, what tags we have this year, so I'll go through mine real quick. At least the ones I can, uh, I know are confirmed. So first off is Utah Archery Deer, which is the hunt we're scouting for right now. I have the multi-season elk tag in Utah, which includes the archery season, same dates of, as my deer hunt. So if an elk walks by, uh, I have a tag for that. And if not, I can uh, hunt the rifle hunt and the muzzleloader hunt. Sorry, we got some bug issues up here. Good night. This is why you tuck your ears to keep the mosquitoes out of the dang things. <laughs> and then I have Idaho archery elk, any bull. I have Idaho general season deer, which with my uh, archery endorsement permit or whatever they call it, I can also archery deer hunt during the general season in the general hunting units. Both deer and elk in Idaho and Utah, I have, uh, I'll most likely get a Colorado elk tag, a North Dakota whitetail tag, Missouri whitetail, and I did draw an Arizona coos deer tag. Those are the guaranteed tags that I know I will have and I know I'll have time to hunt. And on top of that, I might find another state to hunt. Maybe some more whitetails. We'll have to kind of see how the season pans out. Martin over here. I have a general archery Utah deer and then over-the-counter elk. Okay. <laughs> I'm not too big. Yeah. And I'm not too savvy on the out-of-state hunts yet. Well, now that he's rolling with us a little more, I think... Uh, he'll get the opportunity to probably tag along on a bunch of our hunts this year and and possibly get an extra tag on some of those states that are over the counter anyways guys fun day checking cameras it's always fun getting out no matter what but honestly I'm, I'm feeling a little down on on the work that we put in and the results that I've got so far but things can change I'm not gonna lose all hope but you know what I really want to do and uh, should do and that I'm going to do actually tomorrow we're flying to North Dakota is I want to get out and start scouting some of my other hunts so that's the goal after this we move on uh -huh.